Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we will be getting an education on how to go to jail by a sovereign citizen guru who's probably about to go to jail himself over these uh, scams he's about to describe to you because it appears that the banks are probably closing in on him and he's about to find out the hard way. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Y'all, what's up, family? How y'all doing? Man, I really can't believe this, right? So, you know, I, you know, I was going to my P.O. box and everything, right? And so when I opened up a letter, it was from Chase. Um, Chase told me in a letter, they said, hey, we decided to close all of your accounts, right? They closed the checking account. They said they're going to close the uh, my Chase business account. Not my per business account, but all of my personal accounts, including my personal credit card. Now... Yeah, probably because if they found out about the scam that you're working, they're probably uh, closing all your accounts to make sure that it, you don't continue it and probably building a case against you right now. So you might want to watch out for that, dude. But of course, I don't think you're going to see it coming because you're just too arrogant throughout this video to understand that this might be the case. But please continue on with your inane stupidity a lot of people will be wondering like why would they do that right so before i applied for auto loan but they sent me a letter say valid social security number is required so since they never could validate the social security number which is the ein number wrong 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 you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong for those of you who live outside of the United States, everybody in the United States has, who resides in the United States has a social security number. Now, that's for IRS purposes, for taxation and everything like that. Now, businesses have what's called an EIN, an employer identification number. It's essentially a nine digit number, just like the social security number, but it identifies the businesses, organizations, uh, and other things that are not an individual person. So if you're doing this poorly at the very beginning, I would love to see how badly you are doing at the very end of this video. Because I'm sure it's going to be a shit show. Um, months later, they decided that they were going to close it. But they told me that they was going to close it in advance, right? So I'm going to tell y'all something, right? In the meantime, um, I had the credit card with them, and I also had my credit card on my business side with them. My limit was twenty-seven thousand five hundred. My personal side credit card limit was five thousand dollar limit. Right at the time when they're about to close it. Once I got the letter in the mail, I was like, "What the heck? Is they really about to close my accounts?" So they told me on a on a um, on the thirtieth of June that all of my accounts would be closed. Right, but they didn't include the business side. And guess what I just done? I'm like, hold on. Why are they closing my accounts? <laughs> and I, I did less talking and more walking. So what I did was I maxed out all, every credit card I have. And I spent it all on business. And so when I bought all my business supplies, I bought, I made all the down payments for um, my office. I made uh, my payment towards the website, everything. So all business expenses is taken care of. So in the meantime, when I maxed the card out, I've maxed literally the whole $27,500 out, strictly business investments. So a couple of days went past. So we passed the 30th. My car is still used. I still can use my card in my account. But they were told me when I called them, they're like, hey, we, you know, your your account is subject, subjected to be closed. I'm like, what? Of closure? I'm like, really? You know, and like, if they hit the the person who said, I talked to the Chase representative, they said, we closed one account, we're really going to close all of them. And I say, is there any reason? He said, Chase is not required to give us any reason. They can just do it at their own time. I'm like, I'm like really? <laughs> Maxed it out, just like that. And um. So in a nutshell, you received word that all your accounts, all your credit accounts, all your bank accounts were going to be closed. So you decided to go 
max out your credit card, purchase everything that you could with it, and then what? Close it? Close it yourself? Cancel the account? Well, dude, uh, no. You still got to pay all that money back. Every dime of it. Every penny of it. Dude, what you're essentially doing right here as well is you are recording your intentions. You are telling everybody what kind of fraud you're going to commit, and you've posted it on YouTube. What kind of moron are you? Damn, I had a good time with Chase. And I don't know if they're going to close it realistically, but it's like... I'm not going to take no chance. I'm not going to sit right there and say, man, I lost 20 some thousand dollars in credit. Oh, invest the 27000 Bow your inventory out. <laughs> Pay up your rent, and you can just live free just like that because I don't, I don't got to touch my real money. You know, as long as I'm touching credit and I ain't using my real social, I'm good. I'm always in a private. But in the meantime, it's like... Let me tell you something, dude. There may not be a debtor's prison anymore, but what you're essentially doing here is... You're going to be ruining your credit at the very least. I mean, at most, they're probably going to get you for fraud and probably put you in prison for a couple of years. I know a couple of people that ended up in that same boat that you're in right now, and they spent some time in a federal. So you might want to watch out. Man, I really wanted to build something with them. Hopefully I can. So if they decide that they don't want to close it, couple months down the line i'll put the money back on the card and ask for an increase and if they pull some stuff like that again and they increase it to fifty thousand, i'm gonna max the whole 50 out too you always got to think a step ahead because you never know what these banks plan on doing remember they told i went on youtube i went on youtube and i looked at people who had you know regular lives you know and they use their social security number with chase and they said they've been a value customer at chase for over 18 years and they had A1 credit, 800 credit score. And Chase just took, closed all of their accounts out, out of the blue. He said they just gave me a, matter of fact, they gave everybody a notice. So if they're about to close it, they give you like 30 days in advance to let you know, clear out your accounts um, and everything like that. So I cleared out my accounts and also cleared out their credit cards. <laughs> because why would I not clear out the credit cards? Because it's not your money to begin with. It's called credit. It's basically set up as kind of a uh, relief if you need it. I've got a couple credit cards myself, but I only use them for uh, emergency situations or, in some cases, gas. I mean, they're just there to help you build credit, to help you gain more, get more credit over time so you can get yourself a, uh, into better situations later down the line. But people like you... Well, there's a reason why so many people are in debt, because they listen to people like you. That'd be stupid to me. I want to clear out the credit cards. I'm clearing out every account. Why? Like, that's 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 the best thing to do. Honestly, in my opinion, that's the best thing to do is clear all your accounts, clear all your credit cards and everything like that. And, um, yeah, so I spent $27,500 plus another 5000 I want to say that's 33 I want to say that's... $33,500 maxed out of credit. And I still got another credit card that I still can use. And it's another thing. I think I got a lot of, you know, agents. So you've got over $33,000 in credit card debt. Uh, do you not see the problem here, you moron? I mean, I know people who've got sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 worth of credit card debt. They've got lawsuits going against them. they got uh, banks coming after them all the time. And this is what you want? This is what how you want to do it? And you're actually daring them to do it in some cases, while the people that I know, well, they just stumbled on into it, and now they're buried in mouths of paperwork and uh, constant threats of lawsuits and actual lawsuits going on. You don't know what you've dug yourself into, dude. Because every time I get with a bank and everything going good, it's always an agent probably call Chase like, hey, he's a major scammer, you know. I need you guys to close this account. And they probably looked at my, um, my, you know, my YouTube channel. You know, Navy Federal was called by an agent, you know. That's because when I called them about the lien release, they was on the phone. They sounded kind of weird, like they was hearing something. So I couldn't verify if they really, you know, you know, um, been talking to somebody. So I always keep myself ahead of the game. So if I feel like I got 27500 worth of credit 
And I feel like my account finna go, <laughs> that credit finna go. I gotta hurry up. I told myself, I said, hurry up, hurry up. So what I did, I, I, I portion just covered the rent for a couple months. The other portion covered my business office. The other portion covered all my office supplies, like my new laptop, my new desktop, my new iPad, right? I ain't get a, I ain't get a, a laptop, but I got a, I got a desktop, an iMac, right? Uh, what else I had covered? I had bought all of my equipment that I sell on Amazon. I bought hella way more equipment. Then I bought hella more equipment, right? So all that's coming in the mail. Um, one package just came today. Um, what else? What else? What else? And then I was like, all oh, my business stuff set up right. So all the business stuff straight. So I ain't got to worry about home expenses. I don't have to worry about business stuff or none of that. All that stuff is straight. Now, next thing I got to do. What else? So the best thing to do after this is, um, you know, keep building it. Keep leveraging it out. So whatever I'm investing into, if I can leverage that to 40000 and Leverage that to 60, 70,000 and keep leveraging that money down the line. Everything straight. But yeah, I just wanted to explain that, you know, tell you guys that. But yeah, I got a letter in the mail that said they're going to close all of my accounts. And they still haven't closed it, but I don't want to take no chance. I don't want to be like, okay, like, uh, I just pulled the, the, the credit back. No. Because if you send that to collections, you, you charge off the loan. I can take that off to an FTC report. But I don't plan on doing that. I really want to deal with Chase. That's actually one of my favorite banks. But if they want to play this way, we can. And that's why my other bank, I'm not even going to talk about my other bank. I don't even want to talk about nothing else online. Because every time I touch something good and try to, you know, teach the people who want to learn this, it's like every time the bank will catch on to something and, you know, and something like that. But Oh, so if the bank catches on. So in other words, you are admitting that you're doing something nefarious here. Basically making you a bit of a scam artist and a criminal. Well, dude, I hope they uh, take this video on your channel and they use it against you in a court of law. So good luck with that, dude. You're going to need it. It's like I always win because I play the cat and, I play, I play the cat and mouse game. It's like you got to catch me. Like if I find anything loose or weird, I'm, I'm taking them gone. I'm fast. Like you ever heard like Dora the Explorer swipe no swiping? I'm, I'm, I'm swipe no swiping. I have to get it. Don't use Dora the Explorer for that. I mean, you don't know what the hell you're talking about to begin with. I, I've only watched I've only watched one or two episodes because I was forced to do so because I was in the presence of children. So I've seen a couple episodes. I know what's who and what Swiper is. And Swiper, no swiping, is not his full name. That is what Dora used to try to foil his plans every single time because if it was said enough times he would back off and admit his defeat and go somewhere else and since you're calling yourself swiper anyway swiper was essentially a villain of that tv show anyway so you know dude you're you're just calling yourself a villain you're admitting to your scams and everything like that and I know for a fact that you're a sovereign citizen because I've seen a lot of, I've seen your videos on how to be a sovereign citizen in even times that you were pulled over and using that BS. And I know you love to teach this stuff to other people. No wonder people who listen to you get put in jail all the time. I mean, you're just a complete freaking moron. And then I have to make sure I secure something because if I just have all that credit and y'all close the account, and I just didn't do nothing. I would be a slave. Like, just imagine all oh, 30 some thousand dollars of credit. People don't even make $30,000 in a year after taxes. So imagine I got all that in credit. And they ain't even touch it because I'm scared. Someone's no, uh, I don't want to max out my car. You a damn slave. But take that off your consumer credit report. Dude, you are a freaking moron. Your consumer credit report, aka your FICO score, and the other two scores are what keep track of your overall debt. And the higher your debt, the less, the less likely people are to deal with you, depending on, well, your job and other circumstances. You have no freaking clue what you're talking about because that's not a good thing for another $30,000 to end up on your credit report right there because that's essentially saying your $30,000 Deeper in debt, you freaking moron, and it counts against you on that. Oh boy, you're a fuck freaking idiot. And the people that are your students are nothing but a bunch 
of, uh, well, sheeple by this point. And, well, if something happens to them, they end up uh, penniless and in jail or anything like that because of your advice. Well, that's on you and on them for listening to you. And then the one for $27,000, that's under the business. They ain't even under, they ain't even, that won't even hit the personal side for like three, four months. And back then they even hit the, the personal side. I'm gonna been take that off my EIN. And it's under the EIN, it's not even under the social. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's like you want you want to protect yourself in so many ways, y'all. You know, you wanna you wanna make sure that the bag is secure. The same way I deal with Navy. Navy, they, they was kinda acting weird, so I bought the truck. And when they acting weirder, once I got the truck, I didn't sign a promissory note. And I took it off my credit just like that. So, you know, it's always a win-win situation. It don't matter what happened. I don't, I can lose, Amax can tell me, hey, we decided to close your car. I know a female right now, I was telling y'all about, she got a $400,000 limit. So just imagine Amax tell her, hey, we're going to close your account in 30 days. If she don't max that whole $400,000 out, she's a slave. Because all I, now this is what you want to do. If you ever in a position where, you know, your, your bank about to close your card and all that stuff, this is what you want to do. You really want to have a business account, but you want to set up a merchant account because if you set up a merchant payment processor. You can have that sent to your home and see if you got a business credit card under another business. You could tap the card and, rem and transfer over as much as you want. So if you got a four hundred thousand dollar limit. Don't move the whole four. They're not going to let that slide. You can at least move 50. Then you take a time and move 40. Then you move 30. Then you move 40. Then you move another one. You get it? But you buy different things. You buy investments. Really don't don't just blow your money like an idiot. Just buy investments. Go to Alibaba, buy you some inventory. You know, go to the Apple store. Like me, I got tax exempt everything. Um the business department work with you and they give you a discount on everything. And you keep flipping your money like that. Don't be wasting no time like that. I'm out. Peace and love. If you wanna live comfortably for the rest of your life and you wanna live debt free, don't listen to this guy. Make wise investments in the stock market or something like that, or make uh, IRAs or Roth IRAs. Uh, but this guy right here, this guy is showing you down the road to ruin. So don't listen to him at all. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.